Next up, former Las Vegas phantom Brent Barrett and others will bring a feminine toast with a twist of testosterone on stage at the Smith Center. Nailed it. Look at that shot. Too. Very good. <laughs> Guys Very sing good. dolls. Uh, it's only here for two shows this Saturday and Brent joins us with more about it. Morning, Brent. Good morning. Hello. How are you? you? Maybe maybe I can add a unicycle Saturday night. <laughs> I, you know what? Throw it in. Yeah. Just add water. I like it. Um, okay. Yeah. There we go. How cool is that to be introduced as uh -huh. phantom? I love Brent. that. It's, that's, I love that. Wow. You know, I, I, it's Juggler, it's, it's one of those. Silica. It's one of those iconic shows that no matter where you go, they go. Oh, you're the fan. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. So Amazing. tell us about this project. Right. One this, day only, um, right? Yeah. It's uh, one day only. We have two shows Saturday. Uh, Philip Officer, who is a um, award-winning cabaret, New York cabaret performer, who lives out in Las Vegas now, um, gave me a call and said, "Listen, I have this idea about doing a show at the Smith Center called Guy Sing Dolls, and it's all female songwriters and composers. Uh, so they, the, the uh, prerequisite was that they either wrote the lyrics or the music." or they wrote both mm. and um, so I thought that was a fantastic idea because I, when I was growing up my favorite album was Carol King's Tapestry so I uh, with this uh, the music spans probably about a hundred years um, of of, uh, of female songwriters. So you have Dolly Parton on that list. We have Dolly Parton. We Cindy have Lauper. Cindy Lauper. We have Adele. We have Carol King. We have the list goes on. Hundred people. I don't, don't want to you know leave anyone out. Yeah. And Peggy Lee and Dorothy Parker and Nancy Hamilton. Oh, how we wrote go. How High the Moon and you know there we go. There but we it's go, all go. you singing <laughs> all these. Five guys. Oh, there are five. five guys. There are okay. five. Five gentlemen. Yes. Uh, That's the twist of testosterone. Exactly. <laughs> you know. You know, uh, I can bring I can bring a small amount, <laughs> but you know we want five guys <laughs> to have more. <laughs> did you pick the songs, or did you ha ha get help with the producer? Or the producer it was a, it? it was kind of a combination of, of things that we wanted. If Philip had an idea of what he you know some of the songs he wanted to do because there are a few medleys that he put together, um, and then mm -hmm. our the solos we kind of came up with ourselves, or he actually he suggested the because I'm singing Rolling in the Deep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a great song. You know. And you're a baritone, right. so you. I'm a, low. I'm a baritone or tenor. I'm, tenor, okay. I'm, I'm kind of whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so He's a phantom for God's sakes. Be, you have to be flexible. You do anything. So what's yeah. the creative process yeah. like you were saying, you know, earlier? It's just, you know, it's kind of a... Well, it says <laughs> because our, well, like our, our musical director, one of the musical, the piano, our pianist is coming from Los Angeles, John Boswell, who's a fabulous piano player. Um, and... Um, we, we've been rehearsing here, but we, everybody's very busy going a hundred different directions at the same time. So we're t today is really the first day we are all going to be in the same room at the same time. Wow. And incredible. then we get together with the band tomorrow, and then we do the two shows on Saturday. That's a lot of testosterone. <laughs> That's <laughs> a cool. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. And, and, and I mean, a lot of sweat. It's like, <laughs> oh, what are those lyrics? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's, you guys are all pros, so well, you yeah. can pull it off. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's really going to be a fun It's going to be a fun afternoon. So it's two oh. shows, Saturday, 2 o'clock, 2 and 8 o'clock. And 8 o'clock at Tickets. the Cabaret Jazz mm -hmm. at uh, the Smith Center. And then you're traveling quite a bit. And Between then, well, actually, yeah, I take, take, I'm then after that second concert, I'm on a red eye to New York to do um, a concert version, the 25th anniversary of Grand Hotel, which was a musical I did on Broadway 25 years ago. That's amazing. So we're doing I'm that, uh, <laughs> and then I go up to Boston the next day and start rehearsals for Guys and Dolls. <laughs> 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 with no guys relation. Sing dolls. Uh -huh. And then I go to Germany and do a reading of a new musical uh, called Casanova Returns that uh, we're uh, they're putting together, and we're going to go see how that goes and see if uh, we can uh, get some backers for that. Mm -hmm. wow. So you, uh, clearly yeah. you have a you know, career background in Broadway. How do you balance that with, you live in Las Vegas full yes. time, right? So yeah. how, you know, how much are you traveling versus I'm versus I'm traveling, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but a lot of the time. But you know, when we came out to do, when I came out to do Vegas and I just, I, I fell in love with, uh, what did I say came out to do Vegas? Came out to do Phantom <laughs> in Vegas. Um, you know, we uh, fell in love with, the, uh, w w with, with Vegas and living here. So we, and then we moved back to New York for two, four years. And I decided, listen, I'm on the road traveling, so I can travel from anywhere. And the airport's fantastic, and so I, we, I love coming here to the space and to the sun. And mm -hmm. to would the you like to do another show on the Strip? That way you're home just a little bit more often? I would love to. Mm -hmm. I would love to find Is something. Is there a show that would be fantastic here you that know? has not been... Well, you know what Vegas. I think they should do because I do Chicago a lot. I was just I've been oh, out yeah. on, I was just out on tour with it for another five five uh, weeks, and I think it's Chicago was here about twelve years ago, and it hasn't been back. Hmm. And I think they should bring a ninety minute version of Chicago back. Well, find the right like thousand seat theater, not too big, yeah. but, but but large enough. And uh, I think it's it's time for. Um, 
I think it's, it's such a challenge here because you're right. A revival uh, of Chicago. In sometimes Vegas. the spaces you know that would be perfect for a show aren't open, and there's exactly. a great space. You see them kind of trying to make it work. I'm sure like, you know <laughs> trying to find okay just because yeah. you know you want to be in the right space, and it mm -hmm. and it's it's about having the right space in the right property. You know, right support. Yeah. yeah, there's so many things that uh, have to come amazing. together. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, let's well, do it. Yes. Let's do it. Well, okay. thank you so there? much. <laughs> I'm in, Brent. Thank I'm you. in. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, Brent, and the rest of the amazing cast of singers perform 100 years of the great work of female musicians in Guys Sing Dolls, not to be confused with Guys and Dolls. Shows are this Saturday inside the Smith Center's Cabaret Jazz. Showtime's 2 p.m and 8 p.m. For tickets and more information, just call the number or visit the website on your screen. Still to come 